<laughs> Easy. She can't help it. She Her just wants to play. She has some licky toes clean for you. Quit. Enough. Enough. But he know I'm not scared. Bro. Say hi, Molly. Say hi to everybody. Yeah. Her name is Molly. Yeah. She's a good girl. She's a she's a blue lacy. It's a official Texas breed. Uh, I don't think they're recognized by the kennel association. Yeah, but they they are a good dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trying to let my See, Molly. I don't have a dog. Yep, I do. I know you do. <laughs> I got. A, I don't really have a dog. I got a spoiled rotten. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was rotten when I was over there at the house. Well, she still is. Letting my I keep thinking and she could have just came and just sat right there on my lap the whole time yeah. because I didn't have any problem with her. And uh, the, thing, the thing with her, I said, well, as she gets older, she'll start calming down. Nah. No. Nah. That sheepdog in her, no. She gets, she wants, if she wants something, she'll come get me and she'll guide me to what she wants me to go do. And she's, no, I, I don't want you to go that way, so she'll tap you there. She does that to me while I'm trying to go. I clip her to that thing while I'm walking. And then she'll jerk, like she'll see a squirrel mm -hmm. or a lizard yeah. or a snake or something. She'll pull me all the way down in the ditch. Now see, that's the thing about being out right there. The little squiggly thing is called snakes. Yeah. I, I actually, I used to breed pythons for, oh, for pet no. stores. Okay. All right, here we go. I got an audience building now. All right, y'all, invite everybody. I got something to talk about. <laughs> Waiting on you. Do you do that Facebook Live where they can comment to you while you talk? Oh, okay. That's something that I might need to explore. Yeah, you just go to well, like your regular post, and then you go down. There's an option inside there that says go live. Okay. And then you can just you can talk to them. They can talk right back to you right here. See, they're telling me shut up and introduce y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody did anyway, huh? All right, I'm terrible with names, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and ask you to... Uh, introduce yourselves and tell tell us who you are and what you do. Go ahead, Patricia. Well, I'm the alternate NEC with the American Legion for the Department of North Carolina, and my name is Patricia A. Harris. I'm a past department commander, and I'm always a big advocate, strong advocate for our veterans, particularly women veterans, but veterans period. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My name is George Tracy. I'm the post commander here in Franklinton, North Carolina, Post 52. I used to be the District 5 commander, and uh, they just demoted me back to post commander. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have uh, quite a few veterans here, and we have a few advocates for uh, PTSD and uh, uh, suicide and what have you. One of my veterans' uh, brother was one of those who took his life, and uh, so he's very aware of it. He has his own problems with the uh, PTSD and we're hoping that we can keep him on the straight and narrow. It's tough. He's got a wife and a couple of kids and we just got to keep after it. Oh yeah, if he's surrounded by loved ones. That's right. And that's what we feel. He knows he's the love. Alright, well these people have been very gracious enough to let me and my stinky dog back here to, to hang out in the back of their, their uh, uh, American oh. Legion post here. Uh, nice and private. I don't think I'm gonna be messing with. Uh, uh, I'll uh, I'll go live again here in a few minutes to talk about my day. But I just wanted to go ahead and uh, introduce these folks and brag on them a little bit. <laughs> Officially tell y'all thank you for letting me stay. No uh, and the catfish, or was no, it was it was catfish? No, it wasn't catfish. No, it's sea trout. Sea trout. The sea trout was outstanding. I should know the difference, but... And now, uh, why would you? <laughs> oh, that's why he's Navy. Uh, oh. He oh. <laughs> should. Taking jabs, taking jabs. <laughs> I was Navy as well, see. Oh, okay, so I'm you're feeling surrounded. like I'm in the water, right? right. You're well, in deep water was, now. Yeah, Army. See, but I was a dirt sailor, though, so uh, I, was, I, I was a CB. I didn't go in the boats. Yeah. All right, all right, so I'll be right back, y'all. Um... Well, you, you, I got to go start cleaning up the fries. Oh, okay. Over, so. I'll just keep it going then. All right, go ahead. I'll get all right, thank hair. you very much. Let me shake y'all's hands again. All right. <laughs> nice meeting you again. Thank you very and much. It's nice meeting you and keep it up. Yes, okay. ma'am. Thank you, Patricia, very much. All right, all right. 
Very nice people. Very, very nice people. So, today, oh, ow, my feet hurt. 11 miles. Lots of fun. Um, I have a weak connection, and I apologize for that. There's not much I can do about it. Um, I didn't say weak connection when I was standing up front, though, so let me walk up front and see if it maybe gets better. Uh, so, a couple things today. A lot of people, oh, I did the interview, TV interview. That should be going on 5 and then at 6 my time and then at 11 here in this general area. Uh, Aunt Marie, pretty please if you put that information on here maybe about where they can be found. There's also already a link that I noticed that she posted uh, that you can go look at and I'm sure the story's on there somewhere. I looked for it a little bit but I couldn't find it. I'm going to take this off because I can't see my face. Um, I couldn't find it and they may have pushed it off. You never know how these things work. Uh, let's see. I could not get out of Lewisburg to save my life. Uh, first of all, I got out, uh, like, as soon as I would leave a driveway from meeting somebody, shaking their hand, taking their money, whatever, somebody else would pull in and want to talk to me. And then I'd go to walk, get down the road, half mile, somebody else would pull over and want to talk to me or give me all their food and money. Uh, it's at the point now to where I'm turning away money. I've got too much. Um, I've deposited everything that I have, and uh, I know I shouldn't turn it away, but it just makes me nervous uh, carrying any cash, really. Uh, I don't have any on me now, thank goodness. But it is uh, amazing how generous people are around here. The terrain has finally started to change. It's, there's a lot more hills, uh, a lot more up, uphill <laughs> than down by the swamp. Uh, it seems to be a little more humid here for some reason. Molly, come over here. Come on. Don't make me regret taking you off your leash, girl. Um, they sound like great people. Tell them hi from Florida. Well, they walked off. I would. I'm sorry. Um, I'm under a little dilemma. I'm going to have to to talk to the people that I'm in the dilemma with. Andy Phillips, we all know him, he's a great guy, wants to come pick me up and take me to his house for Easter Sunday, but Jen Miller was supposed to walk with me tomorrow for her brother, so what I'm thinking is that I'll tell her where I'm at, if she can get here quick enough in the morning, we'll walk a little bit, and then I'll tell Andy where I'm at, he can pick me up, and we can go on back, I think all that's going to work out fine, um, Let's see. Remember to tell them to donate that money so a veterans to a veterans group. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I, yeah. Yeah. If I turn away money, I tell them to donate it, and I, I give them my card, and I tell them, well, it's very nice of you. Please, if you want to donate, donate to this, and I show them the card. Hi, Karen. Hi, Gigi. Usually, you're. You said it's too late to, to watch me. But that's cool. Will somebody please invite my wifey to the live chat? I usually am supposed to text her and tell her when I'm about to go live. But um, due to the circumstances, they had to leave. And I needed to go live a little early. So I also fixed my flagpole. It would originally out here. I'll walk back here and show it off. Originally, it was a telescoping. Come on, Molly. Let's go back here. It was a telescoping fishing pole that worked really well for the first day. And then the second day, I broke it, <clears throat> snapped it in half. And I taped it back together and lost about a foot. And the flag would slap me in the face every time the wind was blowing from in front of me. So, ah, sorry, I'm hurting. So, um, today I stopped by Ace Hardware and I picked up some conduit. So I'm able to uh, disconnect it right here and put half of the flag up 
whenever I'm walking through places where that will hit tree limbs and stuff. So that's pretty cool. It's the conduit with the uh, with the flared end, so they just slip right together. Uh, it was pretty windy today. I tried it out. It worked fine. Uh, um, I did take the 22 off the flag. I figured if I was going to be around so many uh, Vietnam and and uh, let's just say more experienced veterans than I, uh, I didn't want. I don't want to rub people the wrong way. So I took the 22 off the flag, and I just made it into a smaller flag underneath it here. And it's all backwards on the video, but you get you get the idea. Um, then I've got my phone mount right here. So when I'm walking, you guys can see me in my spot GPS. I'm going to do, when I get back from Easter, uh, I'm going to do a complete inventory um, of everything that I have like a shit like a I don't know what you even call it I'm gonna just go through everything I have in a video um, I've seen other people doing that online <coughs> and I get asked all the time do you have a tent do you have a hammock do you have uh, you know, where do you carry your food? What about using the bathroom and all that stuff? And I've got answers for all of that. And I think I've touched on a lot of that uh, in some of the past videos. But I'll go through a full what to take across America when walking video. Hey, I'm starting to like the way my hair looks. Starting to get to where I can manage it a little bit. Hey. Anyway. Uh, it is past midnight here. Well, you should be in bed. Shame on you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love you, Karen. I love you, Gigi. Um, I still don't see my honey bunny on here. What the heck? Or my mom. Or my sister. So, now that I'm sitting here and it's telling me that I have a weak connection, is it a crappy signal? Should I go back over there? No answer. No yes, no no. Bunnies. Okay, so what I just noticed, which is kind of funny looking at my glasses, see right here? It makes it to where you can see past my head in the lenses. So I got like these really fat cheeks, and you can see past my head, and it makes my head look skinny where my eyes are. So, uh, all of y'all that were online earlier and my eyes were leaking, yeah, just, you know, that wasn't, I wasn't crying. Don't, don't worry about that. Um, uh, these people are cool. They, they serve this fish and stuff until about 7 o'clock and they're, then they're going to stick around and clean up and they want me to come hang out at their little spit and whittle club around the corner over there, which I'm totally going to do, but it, it's it's really intimidating because it, there's, so, uh, there's so much experience in the room. You know, all these guys, some of them from World War II uh, and the rest from uh, Korea and Vietnam, and uh, I just feel so, so uh, like a child amongst adults, I guess, is the way to put it. it uh, you know, I know that, that my war conditions d can't hold a candle to how bad their war conditions were, but it's, uh, it's neat. They, they had this, this, this really cool sense of humor among them. Uh, that couple I shared the picture with earlier, I, I had to, to walk away from them because they were starting to, they are starting to get a little dirty. <laughs> it's funny listening to, to, to grandma and grandpa get dirty it's it's i'm nah nothing that i want to listen to i 
I am a dork. I am absolutely a dork. It's not a composition. Oh, composition. C competition. Yeah, well, I know. I know it's not. But at the same time, it's... I, I don't want to go telling my war story, we didn't even have air conditioners in my tent. You know, and I, those guys... <laughs> fighting before air conditioners were even in houses. No, I do. I enjoy it. Um, let's see. What else? What else happened? Uh, there she is. There she is. Hey, babe. Um, so this guy, some of y'all may have seen him talking to me online a little bit. Maybe not. Uh, his name is uh, Moses Mitchell. Um, he wants to collaborate with me a little bit. Uh, he's uh, He calls himself a rapper, but I was listening to his music today on Spotify. And a lot of it is rap, but a lot of it is like heavy uh, electronic music and rap. And it's pretty good. Um... Uh, I mean, he, he's got some real... He's good as far as uh, his lyrics and stuff. It all, a lot of his lyrics, most of them have to do with dark places that he's been. He, he is a veteran. Uh, he went on four combat tours. Uh, and uh, and I don't... I, I see him going far. Uh, you know, there, there's aspects of it that, that I'm sure... Uh, that that he could improve on but you know that's everybody there's there's music some of my favorite artists have songs that i hate um but i, I listened to most of one of his albums today between when he brought me lunch and when i got here and uh yeah i couldn't stop listening to it it was really good his name's moses mitchell for any of you you rap or electronic lovers yes moses that's the one that uh, you and I were talking about that we were a little iffy on, like, eh. But no, he's a good guy. He's not. It's strange, you know. You you hear white a white guy that's a rapper. You your mind instantly goes to, uh, you know, these guys. I don't even know how to describe them, but we all know one or two of them. You know, white guys that think they're black and uh, uh, just are totally disrespectful to everybody and don't give a crap about anything. And he's not that way at all. He, he's very, uh, he's a very intelligent guy. Um, uh, very, uh, he's a smart guy. He, he speaks well. He's got two great kids. One of his kids is, uh, we bonded over this a little bit. His youngest son has type 1 diabetes like Brennan. So uh, we were talking about that for a while. And I think we were on the side of the road after I ate the sandwich because I scarfed that sucker down in about a heartbeat. Um, I think we stood there and talked for like two hours uh, about about all the different. And he he brought up a lot of uh, a lot of cool points about people with PTSD aren't necessarily fighting PTSD; they're fighting themselves. Uh, it is you. It is yourself that is the problem. It's not like you're infected with influenza that you have to purge from your body it's it's you that you are fighting it's it's tendencies that you've learned uh and behaviors that you've come accustomed to using that need to be eliminated uh and then he he kind of took that over a little further talking about you know I, he i told him i was diabetic and that's what got us talking about our kids but I told him i was diabetic overweight and it just seemed like everything in my life kind of uh, focused in, funneled down to this one moment where I'm going to walk across the U.S. Uh, it doesn't seem, it's not an answer to everything, but it's definitely going to be uh, a pivotal point in my life. Things that that need to happen as far as my health, uh, both mentally uh, and physically. Oh, that's cool. Birds are dive bombing each other. And he was saying, you know, even with the diabetes, the the weight loss, it, you're, I'm still fighting myself. Uh, the thoughts of wanting to quit, that's fighting, my, you know. And and once I finish, that'll be in a, 
a symbolic finish as much as a physical finish that I was able to overcome all the negatives of myself that want to try to prevent me from finishing this. So, uh, he's just a really cool guy. Uh, I, I wish that he lived near me instead of out here because I think we'd hang and be good friends. I've got the big, full, you know, veteran beard that I had going before I started. Uh, he's just a good guy. He's, he's really cool. Um, and uh, he's got sick beats, too. So, uh, he gave me a CD and a T-shirt, which when... Uh, Andy comes and gets me, I'll, I'll probably mail those home. There's some critter up in the, in the fascia of that building there. <laughs> Scurrying about. But yeah, he's a good guy. Uh, he, he feels that he's uh, cured himself. He says he's off all of his psycho meds and, and uh, he still has PTSD symptoms, but as far as the depression goes and stuff like that, uh, he doesn't take his meds anymore, which is cool. I wish I could, you know, say the same. And maybe I'll be able to in 11 months. I wonder what it is. Maybe it'll stick its head out. It's right there in the corner. Oh well, maybe it's a bird. Best case scenario, bird. Uh, so most of you guys saw how the interview went because you watched it. And if you haven't, you can watch it, uh, at least from my point of view, or from your point of view, from the live feed's point of view. You can watch it. Uh, it's on the Facebook. It's on my Facebook page right there. Ow. And uh, I haven't checked my feet yet, but I think they're bad. Uh, there was some serious, serious owiness going down today. I thought I had come up with a as yet unknown method of protecting my blistered toes and I think it may not have been a good idea uh, what I did was I took some paper like uh, not paper uh, bandage material and I put it directly over the blister and then I used some of that medical grade uh, super glue stuff on there and I was thinking I could uh oh I was hoping I could create like a hard shell over it. And it worked, but it didn't stop it from hurting. And now it's all pasty white like like I've been in the pool all day. So I probably won't do that again. And I bought a brand new pair of flip-flops the other day from the Dollar Gentral. And today I went to grab them because I was going to change into them as soon as I got here one of them was gone um, I'm blaming Molly it was her responsibility to guard everything close to the ground and uh, one of my flip flops was gone she didn't tell me about it her fault oh that's pain oh that is pain yeah, I'm not going to show you guys. Don't worry. I'm just going to... Oh. Yeah. I might not walk tomorrow with Jen. Anyway. i got to contact Jen here in a little bit. Uh, Jen Miller. And tell her that... If she wants to walk, it's going to have to be pretty early in the morning. Because further on in the afternoon, I'm going to Andy's. Which is, I'm sure she'll be fine with that. <sighs> show it. Don't be scared. All right, if you want to see it, I'll show it to you. Let me flip the camera around. All right, so 
this is the one that had the blood blister. The blood blister has now been drained, but you can still see it. It's blurry for some reason. So that whole area from way back there all the way up around to the front was all blood blister. The tip has got a scab on it because this is the same toe that all of the skin sloughed off uh, week one. You're okay, Molly. Don't worry. Uh, ow. And then the other toe is just, it's just white. It doesn't look bad at all. It was the one with the triple stack. I already put a picture of that one up. And they don't look bad, but they hurt. So, that sucks. Only ten people watching. What is what is the deal? Why aren't you guys inviting people to watch? You should be inviting your entire friends list of people to watch. Shame on all of you. Shame on all of you that take that as being a joke because I'm not serious. Okay, I need to... Oh, yeah. So... Uh... Maybe I should flip this around so you can see me, huh? That'd be a good idea. So I was able to wash all my clothes yesterday at the hotel. Um, I did break the faucet off and had to super glue it back on. So I washed all my clothes and myself first before I super glued it back on. I'm going to go here in the front because there's better signal. Oh, it feels better. Without socks, but I don't dare walk without socks. Coming with me, Molly? Yeah, I figured. She's a good girl. Uh, got a new hat. I showed this earlier. But the cool thing about this hat that I didn't know about... Well, you know what? I'm not going to tell you the cool thing about it. Because if somebody who wants to do me wrong knew the cool thing about it... It would be easier for them to do me wrong, so I'm not going to tell you about it. I'll tell individuals about it uh, through text messages and stuff. But it's a cool hat, and the brim is, like, very moldable, so you can... I like it. I like it a lot. We'll put it up on one side. Dick Tracy it. No? No. Molly! Everybody wants to see Molly. Everybody says, show me Molly. There's the Molly. There she is. There she is. <laughs> no, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Molly. <laughs> she wants to play. She wants to play. Molly. Molly won't play. Does Molly want to play? <laughs> she just jumped up and did a flip off of my chest. Ow, you're hurting me now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Everybody wants to see Molly play. Hi, Chelsea. There's the Molly. Why is she just being still? <laughs> Quit, goofball. Quit. Ow. gonna get me no <laughs> come here don't get on the monument thing so there you guys go everybody's been wanting to see videos of Molly there she is Molly Ollie <laughs> hi mom Molly.
They're telling it, they're saying, get him. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, Molly Ollie. Don't you get Molly. Don't you get me. Molly. She's like a statue. She's like, what is he going to do? What's daddy going to do? Come here. What are you doing? Okay, I'm going to go without you. I'm leaving you. Bye, Molly. Bye, Molly. There she is. There's the Molly. There she is. Daddy had to hide behind a building. See the cooker. He's a good girl. Quit. You're going to make me fall off this wall. Quit. <laughs> Ow. Ow. I have to walk with that foot. No. No. Don't you go in there. No. Nope. Molly? You goofy. You goofy girl. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> Don't you do it, girl. See a good girl. See a good girl. Oh. Oh. <coughs> oh. Good girl. Oh. No, quit, quit. Oh. Oh, okay. Playtime is definitely over. Mm. That was not good, Molly. I'm gonna go see if there's any tea left real quick. Let me get some tea, Molly Molly. Would it be possible for me to get another cup of tea? I know, oh, sure. I know y'all are cleaning up, but. There's a picture there. It's got something in it. I'll get you a cup. <laughs> All right. You need something to drink? Oh, I was, yeah, I was just going to finish off your tea for you so you didn't have to clean Oh, yeah, it. go ahead. Go ahead and have yourself. Yeah. <laughs> see something cold to drink? Get you, there's ice over there. And I think I'm going to see the ice cube. I think you left it in. Uh, you got ice here? I don't. Okay. Uh, uh, there's a couple right there. Yeah, that'll work. Molly, you're gonna drive me nuts. We need ice in it. Well, there's something here. That'll work. Go right here. Stop it all in there, bro. You got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take a good swig. Oh, you got there it. There we go. Cool. Right. Thank y'all very much. Oh, that's good tea. That is good tea. Come on, girl. Let's go back outside. Come on. They're cleaning up. They don't need dog hair. What's that? Did she get some food? Oh, yeah. I've got plenty of food for her. Okay. If, if I feed her people food, then, then when she uses the bathroom, it's unpredictable when she's going to do it. If I feed her on the, on the same schedule every day, then, then I, I can... I can, okay, you got dog food. Oh, yeah, yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. That way I can trust her in certain situations. I fed her pizza crust not too long ago, and that was bad news. Uh-oh. Yeah, that, that was not a good hotel room visit. All right. All right.
Okay, yeah. So. Didn't mean to just abandon y'all there, but I was thirsty. They got some really good tea. They sweetened it with honey instead of uh, sugar. Okay, well, I love you guys. Thank you very much for watching me and putting up with me and watching me wipe the really strange liquid that was coming out of my eyes earlier away with my towel. And for some reason, I, it must be the allergies. Allergies were making making my eyes leak there earlier. Uh, that's that's all it could have been was leak, leaky eye syndrome. So I love y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Um, I need to get a hold of Jen and Andy and make sure everything's going to happen the way it needs to happen. So I love you guys. Deuces.